Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back into the channel. Thanks for being here. It is indeed Thursday, May 2nd, 2024, and Amazon did announce a new fee for sellers that's called a low inventory fee, which means if you have a product that they want to have a certain level of inventory, say they want you to keep 50 of them in stock at all time, then if you go below this, you will incur extra fees because you are under the amount. Now, the reason that Amazon does this is because based on the amount of inventory of certain items that come into their warehouse and their distribution centers, they're able to spread it out across the country. And if they don't have enough, then they won't have certain regions. Maybe they don't have enough to send some to California or to Florida or to New York. Only a certain set can go to certain states. Then that region might have problems fulfilling those items and so then their buyers are not happy. Those of you that are not Amazon sellers probably won't make sense of this or understand it too much, but unlike eBay where everything is like one-off kind of items generally, the majority of Amazon sellers have multiple quantities. So there's somebody that goes into a Walmart store, they find a Barbie doll that's on clearance for five bucks, it's selling for 25 on Amazon, they buy all 20 of them and then they drive to four or five other Walmarts, they buy a hundred Barbies that day, they send them all in and that's how Amazon sellers are able to do bigger money, faster listings, faster quantities, and incur this low inventory fee if they don't. Now, people always cry about how much fees there are and how the fees have gone up, which is yes, very true. However, Amazon does have a rhyme and reason to what they do. They rarely go up in fees. They rarely change a lot of it. Uh, now, they did you know, put in that fee at the, I guess the end of last year that they started really pushing it um, for having too much inventory and, and overtaking parts of their storage or their warehouses, but now a low inventory fee, which is interesting. And they're kind of working both sides of the aisle where you have to find a happy medium. I'm sure sellers won't like that too much. I will be at Trivia tonight with my neighbor who does millions on Amazon, and I'm going to ask him about it. It should be fun to get his input on that topic. Now, eBay sellers, not really um, you know, knowing too much about this because we don't typically do a lot of quantity items over on eBay. Maybe some, but not as much. So that doesn't affect you guys or, or mean too much to you. Uh, however, as an eBay seller, you can take solace in knowing that as much as you guys like to complain about Feebay and eBay fees, Amazon does have its share of little quirks and fees and, and overkill as well, uh, storage fees and, and this and that. Thankfully, my fulfillment center for eBay and Posh and Etsy, not Amazon, but for the rest of the platforms, we don't have fees for under storage or over storage. You can send us as much as you want or as few as you want. If you don't know, I have a fulfillment center where if you don't want to store your inventory, if you just want to ship it into us and we store it, and then when it sells, we check your account every day. Your stuff stays on your account. We check it and we ship it out every day. We have a storage. You can email me, rockstarflipper at gmail.com. I'll tell you more about it, pricing, all that stuff. So that's a pretty cool uh, option. No under or over inventory level fees from us. We don't do that. No point in doing that. I just want to store your items and ship it for you. Second story today, Ina Steiner, e-commerce bites put it out. Amazon, eBay, and Etsy announced their uh, earnings, earnings call, first quarter uh, earnings and sales. Amazon up 12%. So another reason that you guys should consider if you're not a seller on Amazon, don't worry about all the fees. I tell you guys it because it's a story, but still sell on Amazon. If you've never learned how to sell on Amazon, really good time uh, to learn is now. It's never too late. So go check that out. You know, Go figure out what you have to do to learn to sell on Amazon. YouTube search, Google search, educate yourself and start slow. Uh, they're up 12% earnings call. eBay up 1%. So those of you that say eBay is dying, eBay actually went up 1% in sales. Etsy down 5.5%. So Etsy really struggling and failing. I can tell you by doing fulfillment, having thousands of your guys' items in our building, those of you that have items on Etsy, Almost never are we fulfilling them. The sales are super slow compared to what we're doing on eBay and Poshmark. Those are the top two platforms. Macari trails behind in third. Uh, we don't fulfill that much Macari, a little bit here and there. Poshmark is a solid amount of fulfillment. Um, and, you know, Dozens, if not hundreds of items a month going out on Poshmark. And then, of course, eBay is a strong front runner as first in line. But people do sell a lot of stuff on Poshmark. So I'm learning quickly what people are selling, what's selling the fastest, trying to help recommend that to all of you guys. It's a lot of clothing, but shoes really selling well right now. Um, I've sold a lot of running shoes or fulfilled it. It's not me selling it, it's you guys selling it. Fulfilled a lot of running shoes. We have a few hundred pair here that we're getting up and listed for people. Uh, we do the whole shebang, photos, listings, and all that as well. So you can choose if you just want to send us listed inventory, if you want to send it to us to have us list. So you can email me, rockstarflipper at gmail.com. I'll get you both of those options. Or if you want to keep your inventory and just have us make the listings, that's a choice as well, option number one. So 
Uh, all that's good stuff. Uh, Amazon and eBay both up Etsy down, so something to consider when you're cross-posting and Amazon implementing that new low inventory fee. If you're a seller on Amazon, how does that affect you? Does it affect you? How mad about it are you? Please leave me a comment, Amazon sellers out there. I have a question for the whole audience. How many of you have considered selling on Amazon but you haven't jumped into it yet? And if not, why? Why didn't you jump into Amazon and start selling on there? Whether it's been recently or years ago or last year or this year, What's stopping you from selling on Amazon? What would get you over the hump to start selling on there? I have nothing to gain from it. I'm just curious why people don't sell on there. It's a great platform. It is the best. They sell the most. Their sales are up, obviously, 12%. The fees are the fees. Every platform has their own quirks and bananas, ramas about fees. So you just have to swing with the punches and go with it and deal with it as it comes. So updated uh, stories for May 2nd, 2024. Thank you, Ina Steiner over at Ecommerce Bytes for continuing news stories. Thank you for Google for helping me find a few of these uh, deeper dives. And thank you to all of you that send me the links and updates as they come in. I appreciate it as always. And thanks for uh, taking time to leave a comment. I read them all. Even if I don't respond, I read each and every single comment on YouTube. I promise you I do. It is my nightly wind down as I scroll through all of the comments in bed. So please take a minute. Leave me a comment. Say hi. Uh, check in. Give me your uh, thoughts on the video or any of the other videos. As always, hit the like button. Helps YouTube algorithm. It's right below the video, it takes a second, turns it blue. Subscribe to the channel, get me to 150,000 subs. I'd love to have you guys along for the journey. We'll do a big, huge giveaway. Maybe I'll give away an iPad or a MacBook or some kind of cool device for 150,000 subscribers. And as always, until the next time, have a wonderful rest of your evening. Go make that money and I'll see you guys next time.